6 was much scarier than Red's Revenge. Red's Revenge was not scary at all. Um, the Vault 666 was much like Insanatorium last year. Um, much scarier, much longer. Um, it was pretty insane. Red's Revenge reminded me of uh, Evil Dead last year at, at Universal Studios uh, Horror Nights. Um, it was much similar to that. It uh, wasn't really scary though. I'm um, going to go check out all the other mazes. I'll make a video. Of course, it's slightly different than it was last year. Um, and the 3D glasses were free this year instead of uh, a dollar like they were before when it was Jokester's Hideout. I'm going to go head up uh, to um, Chupacabra. So Chupacabra was actually scary this year. It was pitch black. You couldn't see a thing, there was so much fog in it. They really like made this maze scary. Willoughby's Resurrected was kind of lame, not scary at all. Um, it's still fun though, but it's not very scary. Willoughby's Garden of Darkness was um, basically just like Black Widow. Everyone was dressed up as camouflage, so it blended into the walls. So basically all they would do is move a little bit and people would jump, which is kind of funny. Uh, not very scary. The best one though so far is Vault 666. Two more mazes to go, but they're but I've done all the new mazes so far and they're pretty good. So Aftermath was pretty fun. It's not it's not very scary, but it's fun because it's all outdoors. So uh, it's more open, so you're not press into one small place. It is open, which is uh, makes it much more fun. I'm going to go head out to the last maze, Total Darkness, which was my favorite last year. Total Darkness was the exact same as it was last year, except they didn't give you any light at all. Um, so it was even more difficult. Still really fun though. Um, best maze though this year is uh, Vault 666. 